I don't know what kinds of sins I've committed to deserve a fate this cruel and unusual. The Guardians, which is a Russian superhero movie from 2017. Specifically this right here, Khan fighting scene. I'm gonna mute it because sound is generally problematic for uh, copyright. This should all be fair use, but sound seems to be extra tricky. So yeah, it'll just have to be muted. <laughs> uh, they decided to revel in it. Just slow-mo these abominations. Like, the, I've seen some some mall ninja wall hanger nonsense. I've seen some weeb shit. I don't even mean any offense to actual weebs. Like, you do you. I'm not here to judge your taste much. But this, I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually sponsored by some tactical company offering the Crescent Samurai Zombie Killer 9000, made of the finest stainless steel you've ever laid your tormented eyes upon that will shatter into a million pieces upon impact with a shrubbery. L look at this here. Edgy little cutouts. Okay, like for style. Um, unfortunately, when you make them square like this with hard corners, that invites stress fractures there. The round cutouts are actually better. You know, with single-edged blades, you might be aware that they have a bit of a tendency, usually, on average, to taper from the spine, the thick part, to the edge, the thin part. Where would it make the most sense to put cutouts to maybe save some weight? Obviously, right here where it's thin, because that's how you save the most weight and don't compromise structural integrity at all for the sake of style. Oh yeah, they had all this. They had all this to work. You can see the grind. You can see the bevel, okay? This is where the, the edge bevel starts. It goes toward the edge. This is where it gets thin. They had all this to work with to put the cutouts, but they put them here. Anyway, I'm sure it's some kind of otherworldly super material that's completely different from anything we have here, even though it looks exactly like steel. But uh, yeah, I'm sure that's not a problem. What is a problem is the shape. <laughs> I feel like somebody on the design team was like, so what's like the best sword ever? Katana, right? Why is it the best? Because it's curved. So what if we like make it extra curved? So it's like extra sharp and extra good. So it's like the bestest best ever there is. Let's keep curving. No, more curvature, more, more curvature. If it doesn't poke you in the face, it's not curved enough. <laughs> I mean, wow. This is beyond 90 degrees. The point is literally <laughs> beyond 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's see how he uses those things. So we've got mooks with machine guns. Oh, look at it. I can't get over how cringy this is. I, I <laughs> oh, look at these things. Dorito munching couch potato mall ninja. And now, now this is getting great. <laughs> now he turns on his superpower. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm not a fan of the transition. It's actually worse when he comes back out of it. Because when he turns it off again, doesn't it look like his eyes are rolling into his skull? So I get it. Ninjas are cool. You know, all the different Kages and Hanzos we had in 90s games and, and Strider and all that. That's all cool. And of course, what makes him even cooler is wide eyes. You know, it works for Scorpion. But it doesn't work for this guy, not in the way it's shown, because it seems like he's doing an, an Undertaker impression. And sorry to break it to you, but you're not cool enough to pull off the Undertaker thing. Anyway, enough about the eyes. So he's a speedster, all right? He does the zoomies and things die. Okay. <laughs> the way they die is uh, also cringy. You know, this is so full of horrible tropes and pet peeves 
I don't even know where to start and, and stop and whatever. So, okay, for one, the super mega ultra dodeca sharp blades that you have as a very common trope that could cut through anything. Of course, they always do it in such a way where they, they separate the material and then it, it stays together for a bit and then it just dramatically slides apart. But you know what always bothers me about that? The mark, you know, the cut mark is always narrower than the blade. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Like, it looks like he's been cut with a, with a credit card. The blades are thicker than this. He should already be further apart than that to allow the blades to pass through. And then the other pet peeve, like, never mind the trope of this cuts through everything, blah, blah, whatever, superpower, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can, yeah. Do your thing, do your edgelord thing, fine. But even within that world, even within the logic of that world, within the logic of super materials and superpowers and, and blah, 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 blah. You know what happens when you try to cut a large object with a short blade? You're not going to be able to separate it all the way. There's no way these things are as tall as the truck. No way. Especially with how curved they are. About this much is what you have to work with. Looking at the cutouts, I would even assume that this is a blunt ricasso and that the sharp edge starts here. But even if we're being generous and saying it starts right here, right above his hand, then you've got this much to work with, right? right about until that first serration, which is where stuff would get stuck anyway, but that's a, a whole different topic. So that is not the height of the truck. You can't do this. Even by your own rules, you can't do this. Ah, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that'll help. <laughs> when you're facing a, a speedster, wild firing, that's the way to go. Slice, stab, wait, wait, stab? No, 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 no. You can't stab with those. <laughs> no, mm -mm. First off, um, a little bit of tricking there, huh? They, they, there's, there's, some, there's something missing. Because we know that the point goes up to about here. <laughs> you cannot thrust. Even with a rising thrust, there's no way you can stab anything with this other than yourself. Those things are so strongly curved, the tips of the blades are literally in your face. They're pointing at your own face or your own neck or, or something like that. They, and this guy here deserves the award for the dumbest mook ever. I mean, like... What? <laughs> Excuse me right now? You thought this was a good idea. It's like... Uh, if you're dealing with somebody who is crazy fast, or even just somebody who's running, like a regular runner, first off, you might want to lead the target, as opposed to chase it, where you, you hit absolutely nothing but air. But then maybe stop firing once you're pointing the thing at your own people? What was he attempting here? Khan is already way past him. Like, you can see his trail, right? So, like, he's already past the car by the time the dude turns the gun toward the car. What is he trying? Like, th this must have been an excuse for him. You must have hated the guts of these, these guys. Hey, guys, remember how you used to mock me during coffee break for being cross-eyed? Yeah, take this. How do you like me now? <laughs> It's like, what? I, I have no idea what's happening. Why? And then, and then he acts surprised. <laughs> you act, you pulled the gun. You painted the entire truck with everybody in it, with your barrel, the whole length of it. You aimed with your bullet stream. And <laughs> now you act surprised that you turned everybody into Swiss cheese? Oh boy, and then of course, edgelord posing, yes. Oh my, oh. I have not watched this movie, nor am I going to. I mean, it has an IMDb rating of four out of 10. It's apparently also on a list of the worst movies ever made. It has been described as the Sharknado of superhero movies. 
I, I can see why. I, I have an inkling here. By the way, now that it's established that we have this super crazy fast speedster, right? This is this has got to be the most powerful character, right? Because super speed is grossly overpowered. Because basically it means nobody can touch you. If they're too slow, they can't touch you, they can't, can't hurt you, they can't beat you. The best they could hope for is a stalemate if they're so tough that you can't hurt them. Okay. But there's he can't really be defeated, right? By anybody who's not a speedster. Right? Wrong. <laughs> what, what sort of anticlimactic nonsense is this? After it's been established that this, this guy is crazy fast and has blades that slice through anything. One backhand. That's it. Apparently the villain has plot armor. So, super speed, zoom. He's about to cut him in half, right? Because his blades cut anything. Nah. I don't know what he's doing. But <laughs> the, the villain doesn't even respond. He, he doesn't defend, he doesn't dodge. He doesn't do anything other than give him a regular speed backhand. In fact, that's even kind of slow for a regular person. Like a super telegraphed, slow ass backhand that the speedster takes for no reason other than the plot demands it. Ah, uh, Edge Lord powers activate. Okay, energy discharge and he falls back and that's it. Oof. Yeah, just felt like getting that off my chest. Thanks YouTube for randomly inflicting this upon me. But now I've inflicted this upon you as well, so I'm just as guilty. Had to spread the love. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.